How are you, everybody? Uh, Costa Rica right now. Just wanted to touch base. A uh, common question that I get from people, and it's not always the same question, but essentially it comes down to they're all saying the same thing, is uh, how long until I, I get good? How long until I feel good on the mats? Uh, what you need to understand is that uh, the same thing that keeps people training in jiu-jitsu is the same thing that makes people quit. And that's the fact that it's hard. It's very, very difficult. Jiu-Jitsu is really hard and it's not easy whatsoever. Also, in other aspects of life, let's say you're on a diet, you could gauge your progress by the weight that you lose. All right? Uh, it's very easy. If you're, if you're shooting you know, a basketball, maybe one day you make five shots, the next day you make ten shots, you're improving. You know that you're getting better. The problem is in Jiu-Jitsu, when you're improving, everybody around you is also improving. So everybody's constantly getting better with you, okay? And then if you take time off, when you come back, everybody has gotten that much better. So it's really, really hard to gauge your progress. The biggest problem that people make is comparing themselves to other people. Like, you cannot compare yourself to other people. Here's the thing. I have blue belts and purple belts in my academy that are competitive blue belts and purple belts that I've seen submit many, many black belts. Who cares? It doesn't mean that the people that they're submitting aren't black belts. No. It means that different people have different, you know, different levels of jiu-jitsu, right? If you're a highly competitive jiu-jitsu player, of course your level is going to be higher. It doesn't mean your knowledge is more, but your level is going to be higher. So I encourage everybody, like, number one, stop gauging your progress by how many people you tap. Like, you cannot do that. You can't gauge your progress by how many people you tap because... Everybody's getting good, man. I go through weeks sometimes where I'm training with my blue belts and I have a tough time. I don't go home and feel bad about myself. I go home happy the fact that I have blue belts to give me a tough time. Don't gauge your progress by how well you do or how well you don't do, right? Just be thankful that you have the ability to show up and do something that most people aren't even doing. You know, be thankful that you have the opportunity to train. I feel more people need to be thankful because... You're sitting here pissed off, feeling like you're not improving, when in fact you are, and you're stealing moments from yourself. You're stealing moments when you should feel proud and happy. You're taking that away from yourself. And then soon enough, what you're going to do is you're going to start creating reasons why jiu-jitsu is not for you. The only reason you're creating reasons why jiu-jitsu isn't for you is so you can look yourself in the mirror and be okay with the decision that you made. To quit, right? Essentially, it's just to be a quitter. You're not put here to be quitters, all right? But in order to succeed and in order to make it, you have to have the right mindset. And my guy's dancing behind me. Sorry, I went to actually put it on my friends that were dancing. And uh, it, it disconnected. That's how much God didn't want them to be in this video. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, man. That's basically it, guys. Enjoy your time. Enjoy your training. Understand that anything worthwhile takes sacrifice. Great sacrifice. Great, great sacrifice. And anything worthwhile... It's going to be hard, and it's supposed to be hard. It's supposed to be tough, okay? You're not, every day is not going to be the best day. Every day is not going to be a great day where you go in and you kill everybody. It's just not going to My, my hair is so curled. My, I have an afro because of the salt water. You see this? I literally, yeah. I look like a true Puerto Rican right now. I look more Puerto Rican than the Puerto Rican sitting over there. That's fast. Do you put straightener in your hair, bro? No. Because Are you I sure? Got hair, yeah, because you got white boy hair. You did did you just shake your head? Yeah. Could you, hold on. Hold on, let he's, me. Let, he's got. He's on. got better white guy hair. So, oh, do do the hair that you just did. <laughs> yeah, what kind of Puerto Rican are you, bro? Unbelievable. So, yeah, man, be thankful with your training. Be happy out there. Keep training hard and understand it doesn't happen overnight. Okay, uh, I'm proud of everybody. If you're training, I'm happy that you're training. I'm proud of you. Pat yourself on the back. You know, be happy. Keep coming back, time and time again every day no rest for the best man okay uh wishing you all an amazing weekend beautiful sunday and uh i hope you guys are enjoying life i hope that you're living for the moments and i hope that you're appreciating every moment and not just you know looking can't wait till tomorrow or i wish i could go back in time no you're living for the moment right now so live in the moment right now enjoy life and uh just chill man relax relax and have fun all right take care guys